Hi there, and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we try to go through some questions on linear area and volume expansivity. The first question here says, provide a mathematical relationship between the different types of linear expansivity. The second question here says, a solid metal cube, 10 cm, is heated from 10 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. If the linear expansivity of the metal is 1.2 times 10 to the power minus 5 per Kelvin, calculate the increase in its volume. Number 3 here says, given that the area expansivity of a solid metal is 8.25 times 10 to the power minus 3 per Kelvin, find the linear and volume expansivity. Finally, number 4. The question says, find the cubic expansivity of a metal whose volume increased from 50 meter cube to 63 meter cube after it was heated to, after it was heated from 63 Kelvin to 82 Kelvin. What would be the linear expansivity? All right. So we're looking for both cubic expansivity and linear expansivity in this question. So we have four questions. I will just solve number one and then you solve number two, number three, number four and keep your answers or provide your answers in the comment section and I will tell you um, what you scored, right? All right, so I will try to do number one and then we can do the rest, okay? So if you missed out our class on linear expansivity, area expansivity and volume expansivity, please go check out those um, video lessons so that you can be able to answer Question two, three, and four. All right, so let me solve question one. All right, so question one solution. So solution to question one. So solution Q1. Solution to question one. Now it says provide a mathematical relationship between all the different types of thermal expansivity. That means uh, linear expansivity, beta, and this. So linear expansivity area expansivity and gamma exp expansivity. So we ask to provide just one equation that connects all of them. How do you do that? First things first, note that um, linear expansivity we said it's alpha area expansivity we said it's beta and then volume expansivity we said it's gamma. So how do we connect this? So here's what we said. Um, our first equation was that we said that beta is equal to 2 alpha. So we said beta is equal to 2 alpha. Call this equation 1. Also, we said gamma is equal to 3 alpha. Call this equation 2. So I have equation 1 and equation 2. So these are the two um, relationships we established. But can we possibly bring all three together? Yes. How? But we know that 3 alpha is equal to alpha plus alpha plus alpha. And that means that 3 alpha is equal to alpha plus alpha plus alpha gives you 2 alpha. Okay, yeah, so 3 alpha means 3 times alpha, which in addition case becomes alpha plus alpha plus alpha. That's correct. Let's call this equation 3. Okay, if this is true, let's put, let's put equation 1 into equation 3. If I put equation 1 into this, it means that 3 alpha, so 3 alpha is equal to alpha plus equation 1 tells us that 2 alpha is simply as beta. So in place of 2 alpha, I'll put beta. Okay? Let's call this equation 4. Okay? Next up, if I put equation 2 into equation 4, what do I have? From equation 2, we said 3 alpha is equal to gamma. So we're saying that gamma, okay, so we're saying that 
gamma is equal to so in place of three alpha i'll put gamma is equal to alpha plus beta so this becomes the relationship that directly connects um, volume expansivity linear expansivity and area expansivity all right so if you enjoyed this video simply like the video okay so hit the like button and of course um, leave a comment tell us if you enjoyed the video also suggest other topics you'd want me to teach on all right um, also i've made over a hundred courses on mathematics physics chemistry for jam and wire students all right so if you're interested you could visit my website www.jonahimano.com forward slash courses then register an account with the website and then you see the jam slash wire courses and then from there you can place an order it gives you a lifetime access to over 100 classes on, on physics um, chemistry mathematics and other sciences yeah, okay don't forget to provide the solution to question two question three and question four all right solve them leave your answers in the comment section and we'll get to it all right thank you very much and see you in the next class